Jesse, let's go! Jesse! Let's go, you're a god. Good job. Richmond's also prep Cal track with our Sunset League Surf Division champion, Matteo Bianchi, out of Laguna Beach High School. I know cross country, you had big goals coming into this year, hopefully contending for individual title on the statewide level as well. Obviously, things went all haywire because of the pandemic. I understand you've already shifted to track training, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, the, the big focus for this year is trying to make state for track now because, you know, that's where that's where championship racing is this year. There's no championships this year for cross country, so we shift our focus for track and it just makes more sense. First off, Mateo, today, what was your focus like today given the fact that, again, you've already have bigger fish to product than down the road. How anticlimactic was this or how focused were you for this? Uh, I was definitely excited to come out and finish off my senior cross country career with a strong performance here, but I mean, it wasn't exactly the best time I've ever run or what I was hoping to run, but uh, I'm still happy with the win and still, uh, it was a good race. Yeah. Do you see yourself more as a cross country type or a track and field type? I think I'm more of a track and field type, uh, just because, I don't know, I've just always liked track a little better, but yeah. Going on to UCLA next year. Next week, I understand you're going to Arizona, correct? Probably for a, a two mile or yeah. for what distance? Two mile? Yeah, next week I'm going to Arizona and running a 3200 out there. Um, probably just to get another race and, you know, get the legs going and start off track season for the good race. You're a pretty cerebral kid. Coach tells me you're a 4.6 GPA, so taking care of in the classroom. How difficult has this been for you the last 12 months, being all that's been going on as far as, you know, competitive, successful athletes staying focused? How challenging? Uh, it was definitely challenging at first with everything just getting canceled left and right and you're like, oh my gosh, am I going to have a senior year? What is this? What's going to look like? And yeah, all the uncertainty is hard, but what, what I did was just kind of take it day by day, focus on what I can do right now to, to meet all my goals on the track and in the classroom. And so, yeah, I think it was hard at first, but I think now we're all kind of used to what the pandemic has brought and yeah. That's it. Right now, Laguna Beach, are they a virtual or a hybrid or in class? We we have like a, a hybrid going, so we go, some kids go Tuesday, Thursday, some go Monday, Wednesday, and the other days are online. You mentioned your goals for running in for classroom. First things first, what are your classroom goals? My classroom goals are just to get A's, you know, get A's in every class I take and just do, know that like I studied hard and I did the best I could do on that test without just thinking that I'm slacking off. So. That's it. And then for running, now that you got track and field coming into focus pretty soon, have you thought about what your goals are, what your focus is on the track? Um, yeah, so the big focus for sure is make state meet in the third 200. Um, and then from there, hopefully I'll be able to go sub nine or low nines right around there. Um, yeah, I think the third 200 is my biggest focus for this track season and finally, to try and finally make that elusive state meet. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so Mateo Bianchi, he's had big goals coming into this year. Obviously, the pandemic has thrown things off, but he remains focused. Keep an eye on him, not only this year, but also over at UCLA. League champion, congratulations. Thank you.